We are having a look at how to create a bone deformation on these shoes. Now, first thing I need to do is go and select my shoe and I'm going to press O to center on selection in my network view. We're going to make sure that our shoe is uh, within our site in here and we are going to go get the rigging tool from our deformation toolbar just as we did for the curve deformation but instead of pulling and uh, dragging to create a handle we will simply click which creates a first point in our deformation so the first point is going to be the rotation point of our deformation so basically the anchor point I'm going to click where my joint is going to be, click a second time, and click a third time for the end of my chain. Now I could go on adding some more bones if I had a more complex structure, but for the foot I'll just be using uh, two bones and uh, one articulation, which is this circle right here. So as long as it's still in red, I can go and modify my bone. Right now it has a really big articulation, meaning that when I go to move it with my transform tool, uh, the, uh, the area deformed of the deformed area of my foot is going to be much bigger. If I wanted to have a smaller area, I could go and change that while having the rigging tool active. So if I go and pull on that point, I could make this really small or about the same size as my foot. And then you can see that the way that my foot moves is quite different from before. Now maybe I want to have something like a hybrid, maybe have a little bit of both. I'm going to come and tweak it ever so slightly. And now I have my first deformation on my foot. I'm pretty happy with how uh, it's turning out. I mean, he's a cartoony kind of guy, so we want uh, this to have a certain flexibility while not necessarily having the complete, uh, the complete deformation of the curve where I could go and pull on this point and wouldn't exactly keep the same um, length of the foot. While if I do the rotation like this, when uh, just going on the foot, I can do just a simple rotation while also being able to come and pull uh, on certain points like that to come and make it shorter or longer, but that's not really something I'm going to do very often with the foot. Um, so the bone is quite appropriate for this kind of deformation. Now I need to create the deformation for my second foot, so the front foot of my character. And in order to do that, I click on my shoe drawing. I'm going to go and create a new deformation chain with the create new deformation chain button. And I'm going to press this. And this has created my transformation tool. And from here, I'm going to go and select my rigging tool create a second deformation chain just like that. I can adjust a bit to have it about the same size as my first one. I can go back and forth just to see if it's about the same size because both drawings are now linked to different deformations. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now all I need to do to have my full foot set up is I need to go and link the pivot point to my peg right here because as you can see right now the pivot point of my foot is at the center of my camera which isn't very practical if I want to um, use the peg to either scale uh, the, the, the foot or uh, reposition it in any way. So what I'm going to do is copy the shoe, paste, and just link the, uh, the information to my peg just like that and now I have the correct pivot point for that. So you can go and create the deformation, the bone deformation for your other foot and I will see you guys in the next level.